Okay, Crocodile is here, and I am going to do a review on another sword that I have bought several years ago, and I have had it put away. It is uh, manufactured by uh, Shinawa, and um, it is the Zodachi sword. And I am going to begin this review by showing you the, uh, the bag that this sword comes in. It is black. It has a, uh, a tie that, you know, it kind of pulls up at the end. This bag is uh, two-layered. It is a lined bag. And it contains the Zodachi sword. When I first got this sword, you know, in this red, I, I kind of had mixed emotions about it. And I was thinking, I don't know if I really like it in red or not. But, you know, it has a uh, lacquered finish on it. And it is very well done. It's a, a very nice sword. Um, you know, it fits very well uh, into the uh, Saya. And, you know, when it's put together, the Suka and the Saya, they line up really good. Uh, it uh, draws out of the, the Saya easily. And it is a, a blade made of high carbon steel. It's a supposedly a fully functional sword. I've not taken it out and cut with it. But it comes very sharp. It is a very sharp production sword. It's, I mean, this baby is sharp. It's almost like a razor blade. And it comes with the uh, the artificial uh, hamon. It's you know, it's uh, the temper pattern is uh, it's etched on there somehow. I don't know if it's chemical or if it's wire brushed on there or what. But you know, the the uh, tip on this sword is very, very nice, and once again, it is a, a very sharp kasaki on it. Uh, the blade is uh, narrow. It's it's all basically the same uh, width all the way down until you get right down around the very uh, tip down at the kasaki. You know, it has a little bit of a taper there, but basically, it is a straight blade with the Kasaki on it. And it has uh, the uh, Shinawa uh, trademark here. And on the other side of the blade, it gives some information of the uh, type of steel. And, you know, I it's got a really good feel to it. I have thought about uh, painting it into a different color. Uh, but, you know, it's just... I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. This sword is, uh, I think I paid around $50 for it. And for the money, uh, I think it's a very good buy. Uh, I'm going to rate this sword for the type of sword that it is. For the price, I'm going to give it a 9. So, you know, I'm rating this sword really, really good. It's, it, it's, I'm going to give it a, a strong 9. Uh, the only thing that I can really think that I don't like about it is basically the color. And, you know, that's just uh, a matter of preference. So I wanted to do this review. I've done a couple other ones, and I've been out of, uh, out of the scene for a while. And I have some new toys, and I am going to be doing some uh, new videos uh, for my viewers. So kind of keep an eye uh for what's going to be coming. I'm going to try to make some uh, interesting ones for you guys. And uh, I wanted to do this one on the Zodachi Sword by Shinwa. And, you know, if if you're thinking about getting one, I'm going to give you the... It's, it's a, it gets a thumbs up for me. You know, it's a good deal. So don't, you know, don't be guessing and thinking that it's not worth the money because this little sword here is worth every dime that you will spend on it. So anyway, uh, until my next videos, uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. I want you guys to have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.